Canine Naturopath from Canine Vitality back again finally today to share with you the third and final part in my three part blog series on autoimmune disease in your dogs. What's really going on? Now I must really apologize firstly for my absence but I've been having a few little issues with our internet for a few weeks now and I'm still having a few issues still but at least I am back online. Anyway back um, to this week's post in my clinic space today. Now you might remember back in part one, we looked at what autoimmune diseases were and what are the five top causes. Then in part two, we actually took a look at the five steps to managing or even resolving that autoimmune condition in your dog. Now today, I wanna to take a look at another five specific supplements that can really help um, any autoimmune disease that's, uh, that maybe your dog's suffering from. Now please note though that this information is very general in nature and it's really important to seek advice from your holistic practitioner before you go commencing with any sort of protocol for an autoimmune disease. Now firstly, let's have a look at vitamin D3. Now this vitamin, or it's actually a hormone, has been shown to have many positive benefits to the outcome of a wide range of diseases, uh, of autoimmune diseases. And indeed, studies are actually showing that a vitamin D deficiency is linked to the development of rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, thyroiditis, and other AI conditions. Now, Dogs don't get very much uh, vitamin D from sunlight in the same way that we do. So they're very dependent on getting this vitamin D predominantly from their diet. Now, according to research, up to about 75% of dogs are showing as being deficient in this important vitamin. And ironically too, did you know that those steroids that your dog has been prescribed for their autoimmune disease can actually further deplete those vitamin D levels along with some other very important nutrients. So how does vitamin D help? Well, it really has many roles in your dog's body, but it has a significant impact on the health of your dog's gut. And we've already seen in the previous blogs how the health of your dog's gut can be a real, a real trigger when it's out of balance for an autoimmune disease pattern. Now when it comes to vitamin D, it's always best to work with the diet to improve levels as supplementing without supervision is just not recommended. Now there are actually two types of vitamin D. There's D2, which comes mainly from plant sources, and there's D3, the more biologically active and the preferred type. And this one comes more from your animal sources like animal fats and organ meats. So focusing on a raw organic diet that is based around organic meats, bones and organ uh, meats will actually see your dog getting pretty good levels of this important vitamin. Okay, the second one is selenium. Now this essential trace element is important for a strong and a balanced immune system. And it's also very beneficial in reducing inflammation in your dog's gut. Now a selenium deficiency is also shown to alter the balance of the gut. And in addition, selenium also plays a critical role in the production of antioxidants in your dog's body, including major ones like glutathione and some of the other ones, uh, major ones as well. Now great food sources of selenium include sardines, organic beef, chicken and turkey, organic beef, liver and eggs. Now for some dogs, supplementation though will be required. And once again, always be guided through your practitioner in terms of dosage, as high levels of selenium can actually cause toxicity. Now thirdly, we've got alpha lipoic acid. This is a really powerful antioxidant, also known as a universal antioxidant due to its ability to neutralize a whole range of free radicals in your uh, dog's body. Now free radicals are those very unstable molecules that are being constantly produced in the body and can actually damage the cells. Now free radicals are linked to the development of all chronic and degenerative conditions, including those autoimmune conditions. Now alpha lipoic acid can also help modulate the immune response back to a more balanced state, which is what we want. And it also has a very strong anti-inflammatory effect. Now while organic meats and liver in particular are great sources of this antioxidant, for the most part, uh, most dogs will require supplementation to get the best benefit from this one. And remember also as a general rule, antioxidants are highly beneficial in the treatment of any autoimmune disease. Fourthly, we've got probiotics. Now a discussion on autoimmune disease just wouldn't be complete without some sort of reference to the amazing benefits of probiotics. And they, these are those really great beneficial bacteria that help keep your dog's gut and immune system strong, healthy, and balanced. Now, as part of a healing gut regime, 
probiotics form an essential part of this healing. Now I always use probiotics and fermented foods as part of any healing leaky gut regime I might prescribe. Now many of you will know that around about 80% of your dog's immune system is actually in their gut. So it does make sense that any disease comes uh, coming from an immune imbalance may actually have a starting point within the gut. Now when I'm treating any leaky gut issue, I always start by using nutrients to heal the tissues and reduce the inflammation. And then once this is well on its way, the probiotics then can slowly be brought into the picture. Okay, finally we've got omega oils and other good fats. Now these all have very strong anti-inflammatory actions and omega-3s um, form an important role in the treatment of any autoimmune disease as inflammation is really a key factor in these conditions. Omega-3 fatty acids, particularly those from fish oil, also have powerful immune modulating effects and this means basically that they can help rebalance a very out of balance immune system. Now in addition, other good fats like organic cold pressed coconut oil can really be highly beneficial. Now this amazing oil is very anti-inflammatory as well and also antimicrobial. So it's a really great oil to help rid your dog's uh, body of those underlying infections that may be contributing to the autoimmune disease. So there we have it, we have five amazing supplements that can be a real great help to dogs with any autoimmune disease. But as I said in the beginning, this information is quite general in nature. And if you require any specific assistance, feel free to contact me via my email. And you'll see that on the screen right now. And I'm gonna be really able to help work out a specific plan or a protocol for your dog's needs with their condition. Well, I hope you've really enjoyed this three-part blog series on autoimmune disease in your dogs. What's really going on? Now, please remember to like, comment, and share this post. And feel free to subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube channel where you'll receive the latest Happy Healthy Dog Tips straight to your inbox. Now, thank you once again for tuning in. I appreciate your time, and I really look forward to catching up with you in my next video. And I will talk to you very soon. So have a great day. Bye for now.